Hello, this is Bunting, and today I'm going to be covering some Wakan style sound design and vital. Now, obviously, I can't possibly cover everything Wakan has to offer. For one, that's a lot, and also, it's just such a innovative experimental label there's a lot of new stuff going on always but i will break down these bases and also give you some general tips to approaching this stuff so first things first let's show you how to make this screechy funky awesome bass right here so for the most part this lfo is giving us that that ramp up action let me just create this from scratch for you just looking real quick so let's get our clicky robot wavetable. Just pick a cool wavetable for all these bases. That's just how it works. Clicky robot. Let's shape our envelope here. Okay, and assign that to. Drag it up to a point that sounds nice. I like the fullness at the top there, so I'm going to do it just like that. Let's also put this on envelope so it doesn't re-trigger at the end of it. Okay, now for some extra beef, a bit of distortion, soft clip up just a bit. Also, multiband compressor, attack and release up. And for the extra awesomeness, movement, and whatnot, let's have this phaser freeze it so we can automate it ourselves. Turn down the offset so it's mono and drag this LFO to our stereo. So try switching out the wavetable with that. Just for all those type of screech bases, use a similar envelope and similar automation, but experiment with the rest of it. Okay, now this 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 ba 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 glitch craziness right here. Same same wavetable, clicky robot, and also a phaser. Except here we got the random action going on. So let me initialize this. Select our clicky robot here. There he is, our good friend. Drag our random to this right here. But I want it to jump around for that glitchiness. I don't want it just like squealing all around, going crazy. Just a little little jitter. So sample and hold style is great for that. And we turn up the frequency. That's just crazy stuff. Great for fills, great for anything you desire. For further weirdness, another phaser. Freeze it, offset down, random on this. Awesome. And compressor to bring it all out. Okay, now these womps right here, just speeding through this here. I covered something similar in another video, my freeform bass video, but I'll just remake it for you. So this mostly comes from distortion and this harmonic series here. So let's immediately take out our basic shape sine wave, drag our LFO to that, put our frequency up and put it on sync. No, actually just make it higher frequency. You hear that wub? Hope you have good headphones to hear that. Next thing, this harmonic series for some high end. Also automator level on there. That's cool. For some extra movement, might as well add a filter. And make sure our oscillator 2 is also going through this filter. Okay, next thing is next. You know, first things first, next things next. We are adding a compressor, of course. And to further add the beef, a distortion before that. And some reverb, because these harmonic type of basses just sound awesome with some reverb. Cutting out the lows, so it doesn't pick up all that sub, except you should probably have a dedicated sub anyway, but... You get, you get it. Okay, this thing here and the following squelchy wub that's in, in a lot of taboo songs, I would say. That's where you hear it. 
it is basic shape with filter automation. Let us initialize basic shape square wave LFO frequency bend it back get your filter automate the cutoff just beautiful put it on I mean that's fine I envelope actually so it doesn't re-trigger and compressor to beef it up and this other squelchy bass here same principle except this is a cooler wavetable I think yep. pretty much the same exact thing except also added some distortion and just picked out a cool sounding wavetable and automated it with this LFO here pretty simple pretty cool stuff now that's about all the bases I have here now onto some of this principle side of things as I cook something up just fuck all this um, fuck this oh yeah okay before I move on this little lead just to fill in some frequencies this is a square wave plucky envelope plucky filter with the same envelope on this LFO is attached to the pitch so if I have you see it's all bendy right modulating this pitch but if you open this little these little dots here transpose snap and you put just one dot down one dot will do you it jumps to that note throughout the pitch bending if you put down multiple dots it jumps to all of them it's a pretty cool effect only in vital and of course the reverb and all that fun stuff okay now on to the principle so actually let me undo this just to show you stuff with this one thing that is very important in any bass music or any music at all but especially with Khan is this call and response element you know you can get away with a lot of weird shit even more untraditional than this as long as you have a conversation going on you see this bass goes wah and and then this bass answers it's just a call a response it's a conversation you know so just have one phrase in the beginning and then have a second phrase at the end like you can really jam as many freaking weird things in there as long as you have it some type of call and response basis that's just it's just awesome honestly like if I really wanted I can go in here and because of the call and response principle I can be like all right all these bases are just alternating now okay like that just because they're like talking to each other you know I can get away with mess that now it's wonky maybe even change it further you see how even though it's kind of just a mess it still kind of hits because of the call and response principle so just note that note that all right that's important for your music in general and especially the weird stuff where you want to get away with the weirdest sounds possible okay now let me just kind of make something from scratch here just to demonstrate this kind of writing let's have burn dun, dun, dun. you see that that's the call I duplicate it and make the response and I don't know what this is I think it's just a weird wave table yeah, let, let, let's just make a fresh one. Okay, Glork Lung.
filter and let's let's get uh, something a little more spicy in here not on there disconnect I kind of want to mess with these just get it more kind of into phaser because that's cool general principle for designing these is just have fun man just don't don't go for cliches you know apply all your sound design knowledge and fun but don't see and because it's so fun and call and response i'm gonna have like a trap type lead it's like I mean, it's obviously not polished, but you get the principle. Get a vital, not serum. Vital's hip now, so. Okay. And because we're so experimental and freeform, let's just make it as weird as possible with a formant and randomization because Vital has cool randomization. Actually, disconnect that. Let's just have this random instead. And assign it to spread as well. Let's get a phaser too and also randomize this because that's awesome, I guess. And also assign our envelope. This, this fucking sucks. Let's be real. some weird shit not gonna lie <laughs> but you can layer this to make it a little more like music and not just a funny noise see that that's the fun though like, like learn learn from yeti you know he just makes the funny noise music comes second funny noise comes first okay Just some distortion. Okay, you get the idea. Obviously, this isn't very polished, but I just wanted to demonstrate you can really just have fun with this Wakan style stuff. Of course, there are a lot of different bass sounds to go for, which I do cover in my other videos and will cover more in the future, but I just wanted a general kind of approach so you maybe get a better grasp of what the heck is going on. I hope this didn't leave you more confused because, I don't know, it might have honestly, but that's the video. All right. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. If you learned something or were entertained in any way, hit the like. That's awesome. And also, any questions or suggestions for future videos, leave that in the comments down below. And if you want to see more of this, subscribe. Because that'd be awesome, and you get to see more. This was Bunting. Thanks for tuning in. Peace out.